y'all welcome back to my channel this is simply brentley don't forget to get your energy in and like comment and subscribe this message is for all the aries for all the aries i'm gonna go ahead and ground for all the aries spirit holy father ancestors please give me a message that i need to give to the aries today tonight wherever you may be reaching me give me a message for all the aries all the aries i feel like somebody's up in their head about something intuitive tarot somebody is up in their head about something decisions need to be made something seems to be but it's not go through this deck one more time. I'm going to change it if nothing comes out this time. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Okay, something needs some fixing. Milk and honey is on the other side. Peace and love and happiness and all of that good stuff. We got five, five here. You're just going to be swimming in peacefulness once you figure this out. It's going to take some hard work. You're going to have to go the distance to do so. You may have to go into Hermit. Five, five, five here. A change in the wind. To be fair. Take time um, for a nap. So yes, definitely go within. Go in the hermit and exchanging gifts. That's definitely out there on the other side. Two, two, five, five, five. Four, four, four. There's some things that are hidden. Yes, definitely some things that are hidden. Somebody needs to take those masks off and reveal. There's a lot of secrets here. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. We need to find some balance in this situation, Aries. Yes, we definitely need to find some balance in this situation. And the only way to find that balance is to be to separate yourself and go by yourself and start focusing on that self-love and self-care. That's going to be the only, because when you're around toxic situations, how do you expect yourself to fix something if you're still surrounding yourself with those toxic people, those toxic situations in those toxic environments? How do you expect to recover and be in recovery and go towards your greater good? If you're still surrounding yourself with that. Take it how it resonates, Aries. Take it how it resonates. I'm going to put some tarot on it. Some tarot on it. It's time to go deeper with them. It's time to separate yourself. To work on yourself, not to focus on anybody else. To work on yourself. To get your own shit together. Not to go from hopping to hopping to hopping to hopping. To focus on yourself. That's what it's time to do. Put your big girl underwear on. Put your big boy underwear on. And it's time to do that. Move forward. Because longevity is key. If we don't grow, then what we're doing it for... And if you didn't understand what I said, if we don't grow, then what are we doing it for? What's the reason? Growth is essential. Always. I always say that. Growth is essential. I just cut the deck on the magician. So you have everything you need for this. You have everything you need. 
We have this again, three times, three, three, three. Meditation, recuperation, four swords. It's time for you to go ahead and go into hermit so you can separate yourself from the situation that no longer serves you. Then we have the two of cups. We have a reunion, an engagement, an affair, a contract, an agreement. This may be getting you, keeping you stuck. Or, this is what's going to come after you work on yourself. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, that's what I believe. Thank you, Spirit, for correcting me. So, this is what's going to come after you go into Hermit and work on yourself and continue to do that self-love and find that balance. Yes, Two of Swords. And then we have the King of Pentacles. You, once you find that control within yourself and you, get that, you gain that mental stability, all of that is coming towards you. And then we have the page of swords. We have a message about business. Um, somebody in your in your somebody around you is very manipulative. Um, somebody um, may be uh, trying to think of you as competition, and you don't even see this person as competition. Then we have the ten of wands. You have a lot of burden, a lot of responsibility. Um, you're worrying about what other people think, but you just need to delegate and get help. Then we have the devil. Yes, what did I say? There's some things, some toxic things in your toxic environment that you need to let that shit go. So then we have the devil here. Um, there's some bondage. There may be some addiction, lust, self-imposed restriction. You need to break free from that. Definitely. Because you can do it. You can do it. You can do it, Aries. Justice, yes. Yes, you have justice. There's some there's time for some justice to be served. The truth. You need to look deeper within. The truth. Tell yourself the truth. You already know. Take accountability for your actions. Take accountability for your actions. Take accountability for your actions. Because justice, fairness, and truth on the other side of that is milk and honey, honey. Honey, honey, honey. On the other, sugar, honey, honey. <laughs> yes, but but you're still, this is the six of swords in reverse, but you're still carrying baggage. You still feel like you can't move on. You're having a difficulty um, solving a problem. You feel like your plans have been delayed. Okay, but what else, please, and thank you, spirit. You're in the hangman. You need to surrender. Surrender to this new perspective. Let go of the old, in with the, New, out with the old, in with the new. Don't be selfish, okay? You're finding a new perspective. You are finding a new perspective, and that's great. But you become bored easy. This is the Four of Cups. You could be self-absorbed at times, very cocky, very overly confident for no reason. I mean, everybody should be... I don't know why I said for no reason. Okay, because everybody should love their self. I always preach self-love. But there's a certain point when you love yourself and you're being overly cocky when that does not mean that you're loving yourself. Because if you feel like the need to put others down or talk bad about others, you're not loving yourself. You're being cocky. If you love yourself, there's no need to put others down. There's no need for that. Okay? Okay. And okay. Because I know you can do it, Aries. You can do it. Yes, you have that bravery. We have the Knight of Swords. You have that bravery. Um, you're going to have that sudden action of change. You're just going to wake up one day and say, okay, I know I can do this. And you're going to be focused. And you're going to go towards them goals. And you're going to meet those goals. And you're going to stay consistent. Because I know you can do it. Yes, Aries. I'm proud of you for the work that you've started doing, even if it's just a little tiny baby step, because those baby steps can always lead to bigger, huge steps. Continue to work on yourself, continue to love yourself, continue to put yourself first, and continue to surround yourself with people that are only there for your greater good. Let go of all those toxic people in your community that you're around, in your atmosphere that you're around, in your presence that you're anywhere that you're around. Let go of that toxicity. Okay, Aries, thank you for watching. Don't forget to get your energy in. As always, peace, love, namaste.